What's up guys, Brad here, and welcome to the first episode of my home theater build series. Now, I'm super excited to share this journey and process with you along with all the mistakes and mishaps I've made along the way, and trust me, there have been many, many mishaps. Now, this initial video pretty much goes over my entire plan for the theater room that I had originally. Now, some of this I've covered before in previous videos from when we bought our house, but I really wanted this first video to include all of those plans in one place. Now, this will do a couple things, though. Lay the groundwork for what's to come and to stress a particular point, which is plans change. Now, when starting any type of project, big or small, there will always be like a level of variability or unexpected issues that pop up and you have to adapt, compromise, or honestly just scrap certain ideas entirely. So there are things that I planned originally that just didn't happen, you know? I was trying to do this home theater room transformation on a shoestring budget from the very start. So when we had to drop nearly $10,000 on a new HVAC system right after we bought the house, well, there went most of the home theater budget, unfortunately, but I adapted. I could have edited everything in such a way to make it look or sound like I had planned things a certain way all along, that I knew exactly what I was doing, but honestly, that's not what I wanted to do with these videos. This is the real world. I mean, things happen. And I wanna share not just that aspect with you, but also the lessons I learned going through it all, and as well as how I approached these compromises I had to make. At the end of the day, I'm one guy with very little construction experience trying to transform a spare bedroom into a kick-ass home theater that I'd be proud of. Now, I hope you enjoy these videos, obviously, but if nothing else, come away from them with some ideas and maybe a little inspiration that can apply to your home theater as well. I mean, if I can do all these things, you can too. So I hope you stick around for the video series and see how things turn out. But you know what? Let's go ahead and get this first episode started. So I apologize in advance for the audio on this one. We have nothing in the house, so there's bound to be some echo and reverb picked up by the microphone here. And also, um, they decided that they want to mow their lawn at 7.30 in the morning, so uh, they're doing some yard work. But uh, the show must go on, right? Let's just dive right in and uh, talk about this room. So this room is 11 by 12, 12 and a half. So a pretty decent size uh, for a bedroom, and this should make a great theater room. The carpet is a neutral gray color. Uh, we steam cleaned it right when we got the keys, pretty much, and um, the stuff we pulled out of it was pretty gross. The carpet's fairly new, but there was just a lot of dirt and stuff. I don't know if the previous people ever vacuumed. So if we move on to the walls and trim, the trim is currently white. The walls are a light gray, pretty standard uh, for you know, a house color inside. But the trim, I will be painting a matte black, and then the walls, I will be painting a matte dark gray. That should make it look really nice and, well, dark in here when the lights are turned off. The doors, uh, the main door, which I actually have uh, taken off already, and the closet doors will be painted the same matte gray as the walls. I kind of uh, went back and forth on if I wanted to paint the doors black, the same color as the trim, or a dark gray, and I kind of like the separation between the trim and the door. I don't want it to just all match. Uh, that's just a personal preference of mine. So moving on to the ceiling, I made a comment in my last video talking about the house that uh, it's a popcorn ceiling and I was either thinking of removing it or painting it black. And a lot of people are like, don't paint it. If it's been painted, it's gonna be, uh, you're gonna have a heck of time removing it uh, later down the road. So I decided against both of those actually. I was going to mount speakers in the ceiling and everything, but I decided instead of doing anything with a popcorn ceiling, uh, I'm actually going to be doing a all black, matte black drop ceiling. It's gonna come down two to three inches from the top of the wall here. So the walls are about eight, eight and a half feet high. Um, so that's gonna cut a little bit of the, the overall height of the room down, but with the drop ceiling, it's gonna take care of that vaulted ceiling look. But it's also going to benefit the room in a few different ways and make my life a little easier, not just for making content, but for also doing wire management and stuff. The drop ceiling will actually block out uh, one of the biggest issues with this room, and that's these two big windows right behind me, um, especially the top one. So the drop ceiling is gonna cover maybe a half, uh, maybe a little less than half of that window. And these windows are getting tinted with complete blackout tint. So you won't be able to see out, you won't be able to see in, no light will be able to come in through the windows. 
and then uh, I'll probably end up doing some rock wool between the window and the wall here. I'm not gonna fill that in because I don't wanna just completely block access to this window. So I'll be using, you know, like construction tape or what I need to do some research on what I need to use there to uh, seal those in basically. But that should help with uh, not only the heat, but also sound escaping the room and sound coming into the room from the windows. I'm not sure at this point if I'm gonna do in-wall speakers. I haven't figured that out just yet. But with the drop ceiling, I'll be able to easily run wires down into the wall without getting into the attic because I, I looked into the attic and holy cow, um, yeah. Plans change when I went into the attic. So uh, that will help out with that because I'll be able to basically run speaker cables from the, the wall over here where the TV is going to be mounted, which I'll get to in a moment, through the drop ceiling, basically down into the areas where I need them instead of going into the attic. So I'll be able to hide wires that way and also I'll be able to maybe do ethernet cable from over here back over here, which I'll talk about in a second. It'll also allow me flexibility to put basically Atmos speakers anywhere. So in ceilings, I'll be able to review a bunch of different in ceilings if I want to be able to play around with placement and do a video on, you know, which is better. Do you, if, if you have just two Atmos speakers, are you better off doing top middle, top rear, or top front? That would be a pretty cool video. And with a drop ceiling, uh, all I have to do is pre-run the wires to those locations. I'll actually be able to just take the ceiling tile with the speaker attached to it and put it over into that other location and have it pretty much line up where it needs to line up. Uh, in terms of overall positioning. Uh, so that makes that a lot easier. And also if down the road, if I wanna upgrade to six Atmos speakers, it's gonna be a little bit easier. But before we move on to the placement of the components in the room, I will mention the ethernet drops that I plan to do uh, because like I mentioned earlier, the attic, uh, because it's vaulted ceilings, there's no way I'm gonna do a, a, a drop in every room. Luckily though, someone already ran cat 5 e cable. So as long as those cables are not attached inside the walls to studs with staples or whatever. I can just tape some Cat6 cable to that Cat5e cable, pull it up through the attic, and then that way, I, that's a lot less work than drilling holes and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how well that works out. Um, if I can run more than one cable to uh, uh, our switch, then I will do that. Um, but that should make things a lot easier. So moving on to where the TV and components are going to go. In an ideal world, I guess you'd want the TV kind of where the windows are, but I'm not really a fan of this area. I want to wall mount the TV. So that's kind of out of the question here. So I decided that behind me here is where the TV will go. Uh, I'm going to wall mount it. Uh, this is actually the, this going this way is the longest part of the room. And so this wall technically is the shortest of the room here. So the TV will be centered on the wall here, and then I'll be using the current entertainment stand that we have underneath it. Now I'll do a couple things with the entertainment stand. Uh, the center speaker that we have is currently inside on the, the first shelf. I'm gonna take that out and put it on top. That's gonna open up the possibility to swap that out easily whenever I want. But so everything's gonna go over there. It's really just gonna, make it a lot easier because I'm not gonna have to worry about trying to mount it over here. I'm gonna mount it right over here. And then at the kind of heart of the whole thing here, I actually have two of Valencia's ultimate luxury Tuscany seats. They sent those along. Uh, I'll be reviewing those, um, but those are gonna kind of be the heart here. But I really can't wait to just get the chairs in here and have it all set up. I'm gonna paint and everything first. I know the order of operations is normally like you run all your wires first. That way, if you have to make any patches in the drywall, you just paint over them. But uh, the way things are currently going right now, I really just need to paint first, install the drop ceiling, then I'll probably run the wires. I might do the wires before the drop ceiling. It just depends on like when the drop ceiling stuff comes in. Oh, I should mention the closet. So the closet over here, I initially was going to put components in there, um, but because we ended up buying a new AC, um, we didn't have the budget to have a return vent installed in there with a fan in it to take care of a lot of that heat. You know, I don't want to put like five, $600 consoles in there along with everything else and then just close the doors and and you know have to deal with all the heat in there. So everything is going in our entertainment stand that we have now. But yeah, the closet is just gonna get closed off here. 
Um, I might put some acoustic panels that I, oh yeah, um, <laughs> the acoustic panels, sorry, I'm kind of all over the place here. Um, the previous owners of the house actually left a lot of two by fours here. I don't know what they used it for, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can't repurpose that and make some acoustic panels with them because wood right now is crazy expensive. So anything to cut down on the cost of an acoustic panel definitely would be a, a, a huge benefit. So that's pretty much it uh, for this room, um, for this video. And thank you so much for watching. Really can't wait to share uh, what's in store uh, coming up in this house. I'm super excited and I really hope that you guys are too. Let me know down in the comment section below if you can't wait for all this stuff, if you have any tips. I know that a lot of people had some tips in the previous video and I took all of those tips and you know, you kind of have to go, okay, where can I, what, can I do this or do I have to make compromises to, the, to do this? So, but I appreciate any tips that you guys leave in the comment section below. Thank you for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you want to and I will see you in the next one. All right.